Hi, in this video, I will talk about entity store and how we can create a new uh, entity object, uh, not data entity. We will create aggregate measurement and aggregate dimension to add our entity store. You know, uh, entity store is uh, used for reporting, especially uh, analytic workspace and embedded Power BI. Here are our entities and stores uh, it's, uh, we can uh, use these uh, entities uh, in our uh, re reports and analytic workspaces uh, this is actually a new data warehouse uh, database uh, we can uh, we can manage uh, refreshed here for example let's say edit and auto refreshed enable and uh, we have some options here uh, you can choose whatever you want of course be careful about this recurrency because it's uh, it affects the performance if if, if it's not needed uh, for example uh, one per week is enough but sometimes it needs every hour uh, also, you can uh, click this button to refresh uh, instantly. This will start to refresh this entity. Uh, of course, there is a batch and this batch will uh, refresh this uh, entity. Okay, so how we can add new uh, entity here? Uh, first, we need to uh, go to our uh, Visual Studio and adds a new item uh, i created before uh, but i will show you how to add new item when you add new item we have new analytic uh, space here and we, in this example we will create new aggregate measurement and aggregate dimension first create an aggregate dimension uh, i will not add this one and open this aggregate dimension i create this aggregate dimension and give this name and i am using my activity table here and i choose activity table from here table side uh, this is my activity table uh, uh, aggregate dimension attribute uh, i edit the area id and activity id and select this uh, to a key it's important to select this is a key and this is my dimension right now so let's create a new aggregate measurement again i click this one and here is my aggregate measurement again i will not create and uh, i will show you the my aggregate measurement here is my aggregate measurement uh, this uh, this is uh, also i select my activity table here of course you can create a view or a complex uh, data connections in this uh, measures but uh, for uh, for demo purpose i am using uh, the same table and simple uh, uh, simple uh, approach so in my dimension, I drag and drop my active, uh, my aggregate dimension to this one, and in measure, I I uh, select a field from here, activity ID, in attribute, I have uh, activity ID and data data area ID field. Uh, of course, it is not a well designed uh, measure. Uh, for real uh, real uh, business you have to uh, create a complex uh, data structure uh, but uh, enough I just want to show you create a aggregate measure and uh, show you the entity store so when I uh, create this one and uh, build my solution here rebuild this solution after building solution, uh, this will uh, affect automatically. Here is my new uh, entity store object. And I can 
uh, select refresh options, etc. The same the standard object like a standard object. So if you want to create new uh, entity store object, you need to create aggregate measurement. Uh, for aggregate measure, of course, you need aggregate dimension. Uh, I will uh, do more detailed uh, uh, videos about these uh, objects. It's very important uh, for reporting. You know, if you have a large volume data, you need to use entity store. It's not recommended to use all data or data entity. Uh, it's it's best uh, one of the best way to report uh, large volume data in entity store in analytic workspace, of course. Uh, okay, and it's enough for this video. I hope it's helping. Happy Daxic.